Another physical media release month is upon us, so it is time for me to talk about all the 4Ks and Blu-rays that I am most anticipating for the month of May. Let's do it. What is up, everybody, and welcome back to the Mid-Level Media channel, your hub for everything physical media and entertainments. I am Ken, and I am here today to talk about everything that I am excited for in the month of May of 2022. All of the physical media releases, the 4Ks, the Blu-rays, there is some really exciting stuff coming out this month, guys. Oh my God, there is so much coming out in the month of May, but before I get into it, I want to ask that if you are not yet a subscriber to the Mid-Level Media channel, what are you waiting for? Hit that subscribe button for more great content. I do all kinds of stuff on this channel, mostly centered around the world of physical media media, new 4K and Blu-ray announcements and reviews and unboxings and collection hauls and Blu-ray trips, just tons of stuff. If you like physical media, 4Ks and Blu-rays, you'll like this channel, so definitely hit that subscribe button. Also, be sure to like this video and comment down below with everything that's coming out in the month of May. And like I said, this is a huge month, guys. Let me know what you're the most excited for, the, your top three, your top five, your top ten titles that are coming out this month. Uh, let me know in that comment section below. And also, be sure to turn on those bell notifications for all future videos. So, I don't want to prolong this for too long because like I said, we have got a lot of stuff to cover. So how these videos usually go is I'm going to go through my initial 10 that I am most anticipating. This is not in any particular order. I'm going to go through order of release date. Then we're going to go through some of my honorable mentions, which I have a full list of those as well. And then some other titles that are coming out this month that I'm not necessarily uh, the most excited to pick up. May is a huge month. It is going to wreak havoc on all of our wallets, but let's get started, guys, with the Hitchcock Volume 2 4K box set. That is the first title that I'm most anticipating for the month of May. This is coming out from Universal on May the 10th with a price point of $69.98. So that is what it is on Amazon right now to pre-order. Also, I'm pretty sure on Best Buy as well, but Deep Discount actually has this set for $54.99. If you want to go through them uh, to get this set, I'm not sure how good they are at delivering on the actual release day, but it will be about $15 cheaper for you to order through Deep Discount than Amazon or Best Buy. Will Amazon or Best Buy maybe drop their price by the time we get to release date? That is possible. They do that sometimes, but as of right now, those are the price points for that set. So in this volume two box set is Shadow of a Doubt, Family Plot, The Trouble with Harry, Saboteur, and Marnie. So these are all Alfred Hitchcock directed films. As you know, he had a volume one set that came out in 2020 that had Vertigo, Rear Window, Psycho, uh, The Birds. So all of his big hits are in that one. And these are definitely some lesser known titles. Some of them I wasn't even aware of. Um, but Hitchcock is a filmmaker that I really need to dive more extensively into. So all of these films will be first time watches for me. So I am super excited to get back into more Hitchcock and especially in 4K. Um, some of these movies look incredible. This box set looks incredible. I love the work that, that Universal does with these boxes. I know some people don't like the uh, the sleeves and stuff like that, but I'm, I'm not, I honestly don't really care about that stuff. I'm actually a pretty big fan of the style of packaging that they use for these sets. So I'm super excited for this. This is definitely high up on the priorities for me to get this month. So that Hitchcock Volume 2 4K box set is the first title that I'm most anticipating. Let's get into the second title that I am most anticipating. This is a John Carpenter film. This is Escape from New York coming out from Screen Factory on 4K on May the 17th with a price point of $27.99. Now this will be getting... Um, a set with vinyls and also vinyls and pens. So there's three different tiers of sets that are available on the Screen Factory website if you want to order this. Um, I don't have price points for all, but I went ahead and pre-ordered the one with the vinyls because I rarely do that, but I am starting to get a little bit more into vinyl collecting or I aspire to get a little bit more into vinyl collecting this year. I've already got a couple pre-ordered from Zavi that are coming out later this year. So Escape from New York is a film that I have not seen in probably 20 years. It's never been one of my go-to Carpenter films, but I am excited to get into this one in 4K. And yes, I know that it has a Studio Canal uh, 4K release as well, but I never got that uh, release. So I'm excited to get this Screen Factory set with all the, the extras and the vinyls and all that stuff, the posters and just the full package for the screen. And this month is a huge month for Screen Factory, but I will tell you right now that this is the only one that I have from Screen Factory on my list. That's why I'm saying it was so hard to cut some of these other ones out of my 10 most anticipated. But the one that I'm anticipating the most of all of the titles coming out from Screen Factory this month is the Escape from New York 4K set. So yeah, that's gonna be coming out from Screen Factory on May the 17th. Next up is a movie that I watched at the beginning of the year, but I just love this movie so much, I cannot wait to revisit it in 4K, and that is The Man Who Shot Liberty Balance coming out in 4K 
from Paramount Presents. This is the first 4K in their new Paramount Presents line from Paramount. And this is going to be coming out on May the 17th. This has got a price point of $34.99. So if you're not as familiar with Paramount Presents, it's kind of a specialty line, like a boutique line from Paramount that they've done all kinds of classic films. They did a Hitchcock film, they, To Catch a Thief, Fatal Attraction. They did an Elvis movie. They've done Ghost. Just so many classic films and they've kind of numbered them and everything and just made them feel important. So that one's going to be coming out May the 17th as well. And as you'll notice as we go through these, May 17th, is a juggernaut day for physical media. That is going to be an absolute insane day. Um, so yeah, Man Who Shot Liberty Valance, Jimmy Stewart, John Wayne. This is a classic Western. I love this movie when I watched it for the first time for Western Month back in January. And I can't wait to dig back into this one again in 4K. I know it's going to look amazing. So cannot wait for that. And the next one on my list, the fourth one that I'm most anticipating for the month of May, and you guys already know, I cannot leave these Fire Lionsgate Steelbooks off of my list. So Hell or Hot Water coming out on 4K in Steelbook form from Lionsgate, a Best Buy exclusive, coming out on May the 17th for $19.99 is an absolute must own uh, for my collection. I love this movie. I love the artwork on this release. It is absolutely amazing. And I will just collect every single one of these. I Honestly, at this point, I really don't care what movie it is. I will collect every single one of them. Yeah, the movie is so great. I have already got the 4K copy, but I'll absolutely double dip. The Steelbook is absolutely beautiful. I love it. I cannot wait to pick this one up. Hell or High Water 4K Steelbook is my fourth most anticipated title. Now, let's get into my number five. And this may surprise some people. It honestly surprised me, but I didn't take it off the list. And that is Beverly Hills Cop 2 coming out on 4K from Paramount on May the 17th for $25.99. So the reason I've got this on there, I wasn't the biggest fan of the first Beverly Hills Cop, but I know a lot of people talk this film up and it was directed by Tony Scott, who I am a big fan of as far as a director. Um, so again, not the biggest fan of Beverly Hills Cop. I like it. I just don't think it's the classic, uh, like some of the other Eddie Murphy 80s movies. Like I like 48 Hours better. I like um, Coming to America better. I like Trading Places better. So Beverly Hills Cop is kind of on the lower tier of that, but I am excited to go back into some more 80s Eddie Murphy and Beverly Hills Cop 2. Definitely excited to check this one out when it drops on May 17th on 4K. And I'm going to go back and pick up the first one on 4K because I never got it in 4K as well. Uh, but yes, very excited for this. It's got a beautiful slipcover on it. And I'm definitely looking forward to diving into more Eddie Murphy when this one releases in 4K. The next one on my list, my number six most anticipated title for the month of May is Wild Things on 4K, coming out from Arrow Video on May the 24th. Now this is at a retail price of $42.99. There is also a Zavi exclusive steelbook and there's also a Zavi exclusive steelbook box set with the booklet and everything in it. But for me, I'm probably just gonna get that box set release. Uh, Cause honestly, I just like collecting the Arrow Video box sets and I'm not gonna double dip on this and get the steelbook and the box set. Uh, Cause I don't like wild things that much. In fact, I don't really, other than maybe like two scenes um, that, that I've seen before, I don't know if I've watched Wild Things in its entirety. So I am looking forward to going back and watching this as an actual film and not just a showcase for, you know, Denise Richards being naked or, or Kevin Bacon or Nev Campbell and the whole, you know, the thing that Matt Dillon and all that stuff, like I've seen all that stuff before, but I just have not seen this movie in its entirety. So I'm looking forward to going back and watching this one in 4K. Arrow Video always does such a great job with their restoration. So I have no doubt that they will do the same with this one. So Wild Things on 4K coming out from Arrow Video is definitely the most exciting Arrow Video announcement for this month. Now getting into my number seven, this is an A24 film that I did not get a chance to go see in the theaters. And I am really highly anticipating watching this one for the first time. That is X coming out on Blu-ray from A24 and Lionsgate on May the 24th for a retail price of $22.99. Now, usually with these A24 titles, they will drop a little bit in price as we get closer to the date. So hopefully this drops down to about uh, $17, $18 as of the time we get to release day. But as of right now, it is $22.99. But I'll pay it anyway. I am really looking forward to this. Like, it is a horror movie that came out, and I don't feel like I've heard anything negative uh, about this movie. I feel like I've heard maybe some mediocre reviews here and there, but most people seem to really love this. It seems to be a horror film just right up my alley. I've heard it described as like a Texas chainsaw, like 70s style. I've heard it like really captures that 70s aesthetic for horror. So 
I'm definitely looking forward uh, to watching X for the first time. Didn't get a chance to see it in theaters. So X on Blu-ray is absolutely a must-own. Day one, I'm going to buy this one. Super excited for it. And I always collect A24 uh, with the slipcovers anyway. So this is just a bonus that I'm just really looking forward uh, to watching this movie. So getting into my next one, I'm going to cheat a little bit, kind of like I did with the Hitchcock collection, but that actually is a set together. Uh, so coming in at number eight, I'm going to put a fistful of dollars and for a few dollars more on 4K, coming out from Kino Lord number on May the 31st for $27.99. So May is an interesting month, and I think that the fact that it is a five-week month, it, it just makes it even more jam-packed than it probably would if it was only four weeks. But there's just so much stuff coming out week to week in this month. It's absolutely crazy. But May 31st, you'll see a fistful of dollars and for a few dollars more. Now, we already have The Good, The Bad, The Ugly on 4K. I've watched all these movies. I watched them at the beginning of the year. Absolutely love these films, and I will day one purchase these. I've already got the Kino Lorber Blu-rays for these two, but I am going to upgrade because I think that it'll look so good. There's something about these spaghetti westerns in 4K, like Django from Arrow Video is absolutely fantastic, but just the scenery and the look of them and the style of them, they just look so incredible in 4K, so I cannot wait to dive back in to both of these movies. I absolutely will and watch them in 4K. I am just super into westerns right now following western months, so I'm really looking forward to diving back into these and getting to watch them, getting to review them again and talk about them and just let you guys know what the 4K quality is um, of those when they release on May the 31st. And my only hope is they continue on with the spaghetti western trend. I need Once Upon a Time in the West on 4K for Kino Lorber, Criterion, whoever wants to do it, a studio, I don't care. I need Once Upon a Time in the West in 4K. That is my favorite spaghetti western that I watched in the month of January. So definitely looking forward to that. Next one on the list is Double Indemnity coming out on 4K from Criterion for $34.99. Coming out on May the 31st. May the 31st is a killer day. Uh, that is going to be an absolutely killer day for the month. So Double Indemnity is a movie that I've never seen. A classic film from 1944 directed by the legend himself, Billy Wilder. I still need to watch The Apartment on 4K. I haven't got a chance to watch that one as well. Um, but I've heard great things about this movie. Nothing but great things. It's another Criterion 4K, so I cannot think of a better excuse uh, for me to dive back into Criterion and 4K because they have been doing some really good work um, in that format. So yeah, really looking forward to Double Indemnity. The cover on it is incredible, and it just looks like one of those releases that everybody in the film and physical media community is going to be talking about, and I want to be a part of that conversation, so I am definitely super excited uh, for Double Indemnity when it drops on May the 31st. Now getting into my last one, my 10th most anticipated title uh, that is coming out in the month of May. It is The Untouchables coming out on 4K from Paramount on May the 31st for $19.99. This is a pretty cheap price price point for a new 4K. I think it has a steel book and it also has a uh, Zavi exclusive steel book set as well. I'm just going to get the 4K slip. I honestly like the slip pretty well. Um, but yeah, The Untouchables on 4K, this is a Brian De Palma film. I definitely want to dive more in to his filmography, but I've heard nothing but great things about this film. It is a Prohibition era gangster type movie. I loved The Miller's Crossing when I watched it earlier this year uh, from Criterion Collection. I thought it was incredible. So if it's another movie like that, the cast in this movie is incredible. Kevin Costner, Sean Connery. It's got other people in it I can't think of right off the top of my head, but that alone makes it, uh, you know, makes me super excited to watch this one when it comes out. And I get to watch it for the first time in 4K. So definitely excited about that. But that is my 10 most anticipated titles for the month of May. I'm pretty happy with that list, but there are tons of titles that I left off that I'm also super excited for. So let me run through my honorable mentions real quick. Again, I'm not going to get too much into detail here, but Jurassic Park and the Lost World 4Ks are coming out on May the 10th. All of the Jurassic Park movies, all five of them are, are being re-released on 4K because they do already have a 4K box set. But I am just concerned or just worried about, excited about getting uh, the first two, Jurassic Park and The Lost World on 4K because those are my favorite two Jurassic Park films. I had never seen Jurassic Park in 4K. Like I said, I have not bought that set, so I'm excited to watch that for the first time. So I don't know about The Lost World, but definitely expect a review of Jurassic Park on the channel in 4K in the month of May. I cannot wait to cover that title. But yeah, that comes out on May the 10th. May the 10th is a huge day as well. Um, I'm also excited to pick up The Cursed, not Cursed, 
from Screen Factory that actually comes out on the exact same day, which is kind of weird timing that both of those movies have come out on the same day. But I'm excited to, to pick up the new movie, The Curse, because I've heard really good things about this movie. I heard it's like a werewolf type movie, but it goes into some directions that you wouldn't really expect. Uh, but anyway, I heard really good things about this movie. It's a new horror movie. We've also got the Friday the 13th Part 3 Steelbook. I had this in my 10 most anticipated, but had to bump it. But I love collecting uh, these Friday the 13th Steelbooks. I love the quotes on the back and everything, but that comes out on May the 10th. We also got Top Secret on Blue Area. This one killed me to take off the list. I love Top Secret, uh, but I cannot wait to get this one in Blu-ray and rewatch it again. Uh, that one comes out on May the 10th. We also got The Craft coming out in 4K. That comes out on May the 10th. That's another Screen Factory 4K title that comes out this month. Tons of Screen Factory 4Ks that are coming out this month. It's insane. Extreme Prejudice is coming out for Vestron Video on May the 17th. So this is a different kind of Vestron title. It's not really horror-centric that a lot of them are, but they did do Dream a Little Dream that wasn't really horror-centric as well. Uh, so I'm excited to watch this one. I've heard good things about it. And uh, yeah, Vestron Video title. I will always collect these if they keep them at that cheap price point. They're just super cool titles to collect for. And that, that comes out on May the 17th. We also got Candyman and Life Force coming out on 4K on May the 17th. Like I said, May 17th is gonna, I'm gonna drop like $500 on this day. It's absolutely insane. Uh, but Candyman and Life Force 4K, I'm excited to pick both of these up. I'm gonna pick them up. I, I do already have Candyman, but I need Candyman in 4K. It's just one of my favorite horror movies of all time. And Life Force, I don't own at all. So it'll just be a bonus to add that one in 4K to the collection. We also got Girls Night Out coming out from Arrow Video on May the 17th. So I do usually get sent some Arrow stuff for review. So I'm excited to get this one in because I've heard some crazy things about this title. And I I definitely want to talk about it with you guys. We also got Malignant coming out on 4K on May the 24th. So I already have this on Blu-ray, but I definitely will probably get rid of the Blu-ray and get this 4K and rewatch it again because I think it's going to look absolutely phenomenal. Just some of those visuals in that movie, I think, will really lend itself well to that 4K transfer. So those are the honorable mentions. Now let's get into some of the other big titles coming out this month because I'm sure you guys are going to uh, you know, be disgusted that I did not include them in my most anticipated. But this is my list, not your list. Leave your list down below. Let me know what you're most anticipated for. But there's some big titles in here uh, that I had to leave off just because I'm not really that excited for them. I have to be honest with you guys and I have to be honest with myself. So Turning Red coming out on 4K with all the exclusives. That comes out on May the 3rd. So there's going to be tons of exclusives, Target, Steelbooks, uh, you know, the whole thing. With Pixar, they usually cover all the bases, Walmart. So you're going to have, there's a, a Blu-ray with a red case on this one. So Turning Red was a title I watched on Disney+. Plus. I don't really ever need to see that movie again. It was okay. But but to be honest, it, it, you know, and I don't even really get into the controversy stuff of it. I just didn't really enjoy it that much as a Pixar film. Smoke and Aces comes out on 4K with a steelbook on May the 3rd. So again, this is another one I might get somewhere down the line. I vaguely remember watching this movie. I just don't really remember too much about it. It just didn't really stick with me. So I don't feel like I need to pick it up. We also got Blacklight, which is a new Liam Neeson movie coming out on Blu-ray on May the 3rd. We got Uncharted coming out on 4K on May the 10th. I did enjoy watching this movie in the theaters, uh, but it's just not one with everything else coming out. I have to cut some stuff. And it's just not one I feel like I need to pick up day one because I just watched it in the theaters. Uh, so I'll grab this on like Black Friday or something on 4K. That steel book is awesome though, but it's just, I'm not, I don't need to collect that. Licorice Pizza on Blu ray. I might pick this up. It's a Paul Thomas Anderson movie. I've heard good things about it. I've also heard like mediocre things about it. So I don't know if it's necessarily one that I need to pick up right away, but that comes out on May the 17th. We also got Infinite coming out on 4K, which is a movie starring Walt, Mark Wahlberg, sci-fi movie. I, I don't really care. May the 17th is when that comes out. The Batman 4K. This is the one that I'm sure you guys are going to be like, what? That's not one of your most anticipated? The Batman? I just saw the Batman in the theaters. It was three hours long. It's on HBO Max. I don't really think I'm going to watch it again anytime soon. I just don't feel the need to. So I'll pick it up on Black Friday or something. Or if it goes on sale on a deal, I'll grab the regular 4K. It is possible I might just pick this up on release day. I don't know. But it's just not one that I'm excited to watch when I own it. If I pick it up, it's just going to go back there on the shelf. And I'll watch it when I get to it in like a year or two from now. Who knows? But... The Batman on 4K is going to be getting steelbooks. It's got like nine different exclusives, like overseas steelbooks and all kinds of stuff. But the main ones is going to be the Best Buy. It's going to have a Target Blu-ray cover, not a 4K, but a Target Blu-ray cover. And it's going to have a Walmart edition that's some kind of a gift set type thing. Um, some kind of really cool thing. Walmart's doing some cool stuff nowadays, but yeah, it's going to have the steelbook. It's going to have all the exclusives. Definitely pre-order that steelbook now if it's even still available because you know how that's going to be with the Batman. Like, it's going to be very hard to get that one day one. I for sure know that, but that's coming out on May the 24th. We also got Patriot Games coming out on 4K on May the 24th. The Summer of All Fears coming out on 4K on May the 24th. Death Wish 2 is supposed to be coming out on 4K from Vinegar Syndrome on May the 31st. Even though I've seen some people 
showing that one off already. So not really sure. Vinegar Syndrome is kind of weird with their release dates and stuff, but Cloak and Dagger is supposed to be coming out on 4K from Vinegar Syndrome on May the 31st. We also have the two Happy Death Day films coming out from Screen Factory on 4K on May the 31st. Again, I have to cut, I would, if there was nothing else coming out, I might pick up the Happy Death Day films on 4K, but it just with everything else coming out, I just don't need these movies. Like I'm a fan of the first one, but I don't really like the second one. So um, I don't know, maybe I'll get the first one, but I feel like I'm incomplete if I grab that one, but not the second one. So those two are coming out on May the 31st. We also have 1776 coming out on May the 31st as well. I've heard good things about this classic film, but it's just one that with everything coming out, I just don't feel like I need. We also got The Boys Season 1 and Season 2 coming out on Blu-ray um, on May the 31st as well. So that is it, guys. That is everything that I'm most anticipating. My 10 most anticipated. I throwed you all some honorable mentions. I talked about some of the other big titles. There is still so much more coming out this month. Make sure you stay tuned to my Physical Media Report week to week every single Monday because I will break it down in depth of what is coming out each each week um, as we get to those weeks. So definitely stay tuned for that. But appreciate you guys watching this very lengthy video. I had a lot of titles to get through. May is an absolutely huge month and it's about time because we've been going through a little bit of a drought, I would say, uh, since January. I feel like January is probably the biggest month of this year so far. So appreciate you guys watching. Please like, comment down below your top five, your top 10 most anticipated titles for the month of May. Also, be sure to subscribe to my channel. Turn on those bell notifications for all future videos. Follow me on all my social media accounts. Those links are in the description and we'll see you next time.